Well, good morning everyone. Welcome back to our Sprinter build. So on the cards today we have, or we will be doing, is the roof cupboard above the cab. Uh, decided we're going to put a light in there as well, along with the switch. So that's what we're going to be doing, attempting to do today. Uh, first thing we're going to be doing is making a profile of the board that we need. Going to use cardboard for this, going to use a cardboard template for the base and then a cardboard template for the back and then transfer that into ply and I would imagine there's going to be a little bit of tinkering around there to, to sort of like make it fit uh, and obviously we're going to need a access so we're going to have a big hole in the back uh, that'll give us access inside and obviously with the lighting it'll also give us a chance to see what we've got in there because it, 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 well, I would imagine it's going to be a little bit on the dark side so that's what we're going to be attempting today guys so follow us along for that trip right guys so today's challenge <coughs> apart from having the sore voice I think I've got laryngitis today is the shelf that we're going to be making above the cab for that we're going to take out the uh, supervisor and the shelf that's over in there we've done this on both sides uh, what we've done is we've used a cardboard template to make the shape and then we transfer that onto wood to actually uh, give us something to support it the downside is that sometimes you'll transfer a profile from one to another and there'll be little discrepancies and what we've found up to now is that each time we try to fit this bit of wood we've had to check and take a little bit more off as you do so at the moment we're just going to give that a try It's not as easy as I thought. I thought it was going to slide in. So getting that front bit out there. It's not a bad fit. Uh, drawback is we haven't cut any out for the coat hangers at the ends. But at the moment the coat basically because of the holes. Got one up there. Let's see if we can get this one in. Just where the panel comes out around the edge here, uh, probably going to be about three to five mil. Cut this piece of wood earlier, and that fits in there. So what that's going to be is our strengthening piece for the bottom board, and then we've got a front piece with us cut out for access into there. So hopefully I can transfer this onto the wood just down here. So that's a right size. So there we have it. <coughs> that from the cough. So we've got our, our board in there now. As you can see we've got a, a lower roof line. Gonna use the holes to hold the brackets in for the sun visor and that little shelf. Gonna use that there. And at the back here, we're going to put some brackets and some L brackets to strengthen up this, this corner. And that gives us our bigger platform. So that's going to be that section. 
Now the intention is to use another piece of wood on the front and the cut out in the middle so we've got additional storage. Now to fasten them two together we're going to be using small section of wood like that so that will help give us some strength on the board. I'm going to drill this into here, fasten it up. Right blue and screwed actually and then our finishing piece will be So here it goes. So we've got this bulkhead cardboard section. As you can see we've drawn around that. And that gives us an outline. And because the ply is quite substantial, what we're going to be doing is cutting it out with a jigsaw first and then trimming it to size. I'm hoping that uh, it won't take too much work as it is quite intricate. I mean the cardboard gives you the the outline of what it should be but once we transfer it onto wood things might change a little bit. So we'll see how we go. So we make sure that we're not going to cut through a table below and off we go. So we've now made the overhead locker. Uh, we've made it deep enough. Probably can't see it anyway because it's low light. Uh, but we've made it deep enough so we can put in a lot of gear in there. Maybe bedding, maybe clothes, something that uh, that's not going to be open all the time. But what we have decided is instead of using a door on the front, we are thinking about a mesh, uh, something like a, a stretchy mesh uh, like a net uh, on there it's got to be covered yet but as you can see it's fairly well secured around there and we've been able to screw it onto this top rail temporarily I will put in some more fittings down this section to, to make it secure because at the moment we've still got a bit of movement there and a car fitting and as you can see on our roof cupboard, just here, it's no longer here. So what we've done is we've taken that down because our four-way stretch carpet's come in this morning. Uh, what we're going to be doing is taking the cupboard that we had here, the base and the front, and we're going to be using our four-way stretch carpet to cover that. Uh, we're also going to be putting a light. I mean, I did uh, cover this before, but we've put a light in here. And that's going to be taken into the wiring that's coming from this light here. The only problem is there's no light switch to turn it on and off. So in the panel that we have, or we will be putting here, uh, we will be fitting a, a simple push switch in it. So we'll have a switch on the outside here on our panel, which will illuminate the light there and obviously give us the light around our storage area. And then obviously once we're done with that, we can turn the light off and we're not using any more power. So stretch carpet, that's the next point. So after a few hours uh, of cleaning and sanding, we sanded off the, the boards to make sure that the carpet would adhere correctly. And this is what we are left with. We did order a, a grey, uh, maybe we should have ordered a silver or a silver grey. But these are the two panels that we're going to be putting back in. So you can see there, we've got our base and our back. Now once we've done that, somewhere here, maybe we're going to be putting the light switch for our light. Uh, and then making it so that that will work the storage light in, the, in this cupboard. So that's 
So we're just stripping out the wires. Uh, if I do put them two together, you can see we've got this light on. So we know that works. Obviously we can't have it just like that. So we're going to be putting on the little spare, spare terminals. And then we've just got a simple switch. This will go on at some point. So we've got a switch here. Just going to have that here so that we can use that as our point of contact. Now obviously when we put this frame up at the front, we will have to drill a hole correctly for that. It is a push fit. Uh, the one I, I wanted was one with a nut on the back, but unsuccessfully when we went to the mortar spares, they didn't have one. So we ended up with a, a little switch there. Does exactly the same job. It's just we're going to be a little bit, have to be a little bit more careful when we come to drill the correct size hole for that. Put five and it should be enough that. Mm. Don't think we need any more than five. There we go. Little stool. Little light. Almost like a little bunk bed. <laughs> So we can see now that we fitted this roof, roof cupboard. We've got this little light in there, which enable us to, to see what's stored in that area. And a framework on it. I don't think we're going to put a door on it, but I think we're going to put that, still going to put that mesh, that mesh on it, that net. So I think uh, it went quite well, the uh, fitting up of that carbot locker. Uh, as we said, we, we're going to leave that big hole at the front. I think the light is a good idea. Uh, obviously, it gives us the opportunity to see what's in there uh, when we're searching around for, for things that we're going to stuff into that hole. Uh, it's sturdy enough, uh, but I've just found out on the old internet that it's, it's possible to buy the pre-cut one. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's in ply or MDF, but I've just found out you can buy the pre-cut one that will fit the vehicle for about £160. So you've got two choices when you're doing this. You can either buy one that's pre-cut, ready-made, 
you just bolt it together or like we've done today you can make your own depends on on which way you want to go if you feel like you you can take on the challenge then i, I would have a go i mean we're having a go with the rest of the van so why not but it's another day over we've now got that done so we're moving on to our next thing i think the next thing is going to be a little bit more wiring uh, because we're about to start on our wiring board so guys okay. so once again uh, we've come to the end of today so if you like what you see, if you're going to give us a thumbs up, it'd be most appreciated. And obviously if you want to subscribe to the channel, then you can keep the update going as we progress with the build. So that's it for today. We'll see you next time.